It started as more of a research project to study, you know, tiny houses and how small they could be and still be comfortable to live in, and also to explore some new uh, construction techniques to make it faster and lighter to build. I think our approach was not to just make a miniature house, um, just a cute little cottage. The idea was to really make it a tool for living and really not be nostalgic about the way a house should look, but create the features that are needed. Um, in some cases, you know, features like you are familiar with, like a porch, but also features you're not familiar with, like the, the window wall and all the storage. This project was uh, one that had been chosen, I think already, by the UL students to build a tiny home. Then the flood happened, and as many of you know, there are lots of people who are still rebuilding from last year's floods. So uh, once again, we're just very grateful for, this is a long, deep partnership that we've had with the UL School of Architecture and Design, and we're very grateful for this opportunity. I was introduced to this home, never got a chance to see it until today, and I, I love it, it's awesome, I mean, it's just one experience for someone to go through such a thing, but when you acknowledge all the work and the people that volunteer to do this, it gave me the return to give back by joining these people to help, you know, honor others.